kind of toppings do you want on your pizza box today? That's right, I said pizza box, not pizza, because today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own painting out of trash using a pizza box and create something like this, depending on which toppings you choose to make your painting. And so if you stick with me, that's what we'll be doing today. My name is Kara Sills. My channel is Crafty Recycler. And for all those that are not familiar with this channel, what we do here is we take things that would otherwise be trash and we turn them into beautiful, useful items. And for those that are familiar, thank you so much for following and subscribing and liking and sharing my um, videos. And so without any more delay, let's get started. To start, of course, you'll need a pizza box. I picked DiGiorno this time. And I have some dog food containers I need to use up. And a lot of different plastic things that you don't even have to wash, like these dishwasher puck things or just pill pouches and stuff like that. Just little things like that that I want to shove inside this to get rid of them. And also you'll need scissors and some masking tape. Later we're going to need a little paint and so the first step that I've taken is both ends of the pizza box are open, but I'm going to need to cut this because what I want to do is turn this inside out because as you can see there's a waxy finish on the outside of the DiGiorno box and what I would like to do is paint this with acrylic paint as a base underneath what I'm about to do. So I'm going to turn this box inside out once I cut it open and that's where it's so you can see the inside is a little less waxy and we're going to turn this inside out and we're going to tape this into position. Okay, so what I've done is I bent everything the opposite of the way it was bent so that when I do close it up, it will meet up just as if it were the other direction. But what I want to do before I close this up is I want to include this recycle that I mentioned inside here so that no one knows it's in here but yet I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> So what I'm doing is, like I said, I'm taking these pieces of plastic that I've cut up and I'm putting them underneath of here and then I'm putting them face down and taping them in place at this point. So as you can see, I have these taped in place with the plastic trash underneath and then whatever's left, I'm just going to put in between here and kind of cushion it and then close the lid up and tape it all together, making a mock canvas out of a pizza box. Okay, so you see that now I have it all folded inside out and taped around the edges with masking tape so that it's a nice canvas. Now we do have a ridge problem here um, that we have to deal with later, but we'll figure that out and we'll cover it and make it work. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken a picture that I got my, from my friend April from her trip from Italy that she's letting me use and I appreciate. Um, and I've printed it out on our printer and I've trimmed it to this size uh, and pasted it onto this canvas that I've made. And what I'm gonna do is paint out from this and demonstrate how you can use Recycle to make like a three-dimensional look to a picture, any picture you wanna use. And I would have painted it, but it takes a long time and I never get my proportions right, so I figured this was the best way to go. And also, a lot of people may feel that they can't um, paint that good either so I thought this would show that anybody can really do this by pasting a picture on and adding things to it and using recycle to actually paint with and I'm also going to use real paint too but I wanted to just demonstrate how this could be done so as you can see I am just doing a really vague underpainting here meeting up with some of the things that are on here which are later going to be covered anyway so it doesn't matter like how tight I keep this or whatever um, because this is all going to be water in the end and it's just basically I'm just trying to cover what's already here so that it doesn't look like a building anymore and all these things up here I'm going to cover with recycled items that are painted so these are just also underlined kind of drawing type things that I'm going by as you can see I'm just going to keep filling this in and then I'll be back I decided to go back in and fill in a little bit more blue water on the bottom of the picture there in, in the, between the foliage and then I put a little blue on the top just um, behind where I think that the foliage and the mountains and stuff are going to lay and then I have to add some building to the side, some foliage to the side and paint in the um, mountains and the foliage. Okay, so what I did was, um, if you remember, on the side there was 
nothing here. So what I did was I painted this on here and I used the these metallic colors here um, and mixed them together to make the color for the building. And then I just painted on there, but I'm gonna go back and cover it with other stuff. And then I darkened it here a little bit. What I'm gonna to try to do now is I need to change I put too much water I got carried away so down here I think what I'm going to do is put more foliage and maybe even put like some kind of a stone walkway or a stone wall or something to fill this in a little better to make it look better okay so I've mixed the metallic silver purple and black and I think it's pretty close to what is on here so I'm going to go ahead and just fill this in with this Okay, so I didn't get the paint to match as good as I thought it was going to match, but that's okay because this is an undercoat and I can always drag this down here onto the paper and make it match anyway. It doesn't have to stay the color that it was. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm adding some highlights where I think the light might be hitting on the mountain. Looks like the light source might be coming down this way. Looking at these buildings that are already in the picture, it looks like the light's hitting the front of the building. So I'm trying to like have it as if it's capturing the top pieces of the mountain sticking out a little bit just to give it a little bit of um, variation. Okay, so for now what I'm doing is I'm just smearing some white into the blue to lighten up this blue because it's really overbearing. And these little ones that aren't really filled in, those are going to be foliage. I decided I was going to let that stick up a little bit um, over the sky when the sky's done. For now I'm just softening blue in this format now as I'm filling in the sides here I've matched this to be like a golden green mixed together and now I'm trying to get the pink paint to be similar color and just bringing it over and blending it in okay so I've decided to add a wall in the front with a little pathway there to try to cover some of the water and then some highlights on the mountain but now comes the really challenging part I'm gonna have to try to paint over this with trash not sure I'm going to be able to do it. I hope I don't ruin it. <laughs> but, well, life's full of risks, and I'm going to take this one. She, I did was I took a toilet paper roll, and I flattened it. I cut it in half, and then as you see here, I drew some stone-like shapes. And over here, after I drew them, I painted them in. Okay, so I decided to change it some. Originally, I was going to um, just... Put, these, put this whole piece on here, but I don't like the way it looks uh, due to the lines and stuff that are on here. So what I did was I decided to start cutting out the stones and gluing them on individually. And I'm going to go back and fill this in with real sand. And I'm going to do a, a stone wall back here and then cover the stonework with some branches here. Okay, so I've glued down the stones and now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to fill in the cracks in between and I'm going to take this sand, this is leftover sand I had mixed with some gold glitter and some black glitter, and I'm going to just put the glue in between the cracks here, and then sprinkle it with the sand, and try to fill it in to make it look like grout, and see how that works out. Now that I have the glue all applied in between the stones, I'm going to take this glitter mixture, and I'm just going to sprinkle it all over it, so that it gets down in the cracks and I'm doing it over the folder so that I can catch the excess and refill it and do it again. Okay, so the glue has dried and this is the left behind results of the sand and the glitter in between the stone. I think it came out kind of cool. And I'm gonna move on to do the back wall and the foliage that cascades over it. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking these fill pouches and I'm cutting them out and I'm sticking them together and trying to form what looks like a brick wall. And then if it works out and I glue it all to it, then I'm going to paint over it to make it look like stone. Okay, so I figured before I start covering the wall, I better make like a template of what I already drew because this is going to get covered and I don't want to lose what I did. So I just took a piece of plastic and I drew with marker and traced out where the branches are going to go whenever it's done to put it over top again just sort of as like a, a template to go by so now i've painted the pill packets that i'm trying to use for the wall and so i put a bunch of glue on this and i'm hoping that when i put the sand all over this it's going to fill in some of the dimples on the stones 
and also in between the stones like a grout. Okay, so I sprinkled the sand all over the glue and I'm gonna let it dry before I try to remove any of the ex um, excess sand off. I painted over top of the stones on the wall there to make it look more stone-like and put some highlights on there to give it some dimension. And now I'm gonna focus on putting the branches back over top and in the front of the wall there that lead up to those flowers that you see. Okay, so before, if you'll recall, I traced out the way the branches used to look when they were over top of the wall. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adhere some cardboard from the inside of the toilet paper rolls and I'm gonna wrap it with masking tape and then I'm gonna paint it brown and try to make some branches for this plant. Okay, so I've made the branch and how I did that was I took some plastic and I glued some toilet paper roll onto it and then I wrapped masking tape around it and I painted it a couple different colors of brown. And I'm not going to adhere it yet because I want to build the flowers up here first so that I can see exactly where to place it. But I want it to stand out a little bit away from the wall, I'm trying to make this kind of a 3D look to this with this um, paint. Okay, so anyway, to make the flowers, what I was going to do is, I'm going to try to do this. I'm taking these eggshell, you know, egg carton plastic container, and I'm going to cut it into these, um, you know, little sections. And then I'm going to try to adhere this Discover card um, envelope. <laughs> I never applied for their card, but I always like their shiny envelopes. So I saved them. And I'm going to try to cut it out and glue it to the um, plastic and make it look like petals some kind of way. And okay, so now I'm beginning to make the flowers for back here. And since I want them to stand off the canvas, what I'm using is I cut up this egg carton and I cut it down to this rounded individual piece. And then I took that and I slid it into four um, different fragments and I rounded off the tops to look like petals and then I flipped it over and I traced it onto this discover card ad paper and I trimmed it out and created this shape and then I glued it as you see here I glued it to the um, plastic and right about now you're probably saying I don't know if it pays to discover because <laughs> this doesn't look that great however what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over the lettering here and I'm going to highlight and low light the flower with some metallic paints and I'm going to try to create a similar color to back here. I'm also going to um, reshape the flower a little bit and work with it. So now I have the branch on and what I'm going to do, I put one of the egg carton pieces there upside down and I'm going to use that to prop up the flower. And I'm going to adhere the flower and the branch to it and adhere it to the canvas. And then I'll go back and I'll fix the flowers and paint them. So I've put a bunch of flowers on here. And I've put, I'm starting to put beads in the center of the flowers that I'm later going to paint yellow. Um, and I'm going to paint the petals of the flowers, of course. And then I'm also adding some green in here that are actually foil from dog food containers that I'm wrapping around plastic and hot gluing in for the foliage in between. So that's the step I'm at right now. Okay, so now what I've done is I've gone in and I've painted the flowers. I've painted some um, darker color on the inside and then some lighter where the light would hit on the top of the petals here. I've also painted some yellow and brown in the center for the center of the flowers. And now I'm creating the green uh, leaves out of the dog food foil containers and once I have those glued on um, as much as I want to I'm going to go back and paint over those as well. Okay so now I've applied the green paint over the green um, foil leaves that I've made out of the dog food containers and now I'm working on the water. Okay so here is what I've done. I've made some changes. I painted more uh, leaves and then I went up to the mountain and I made some changes on that and in the water I made some changes um, it didn't come out exactly like I had wanted but I think for a pizza box it's not too bad <laughs> so we have our 3d picture of Italy here created out of a pizza box and trash
Now, you can pick your own toppings, as I said, in your own picture and create in your own way. And But I hope that you benefited today. If you did, please hit like. And if you'd like to see upcoming videos, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell and it will alert you to more um, videos on how to create beautiful things from trash. Have a wonderful day and thank you for joining me.